especially in bigger sheets like the sequence or the fixture sheet or the content sheet, it is very essential to be able to reorganize those sheets, reduce the data and to rearrange columns in the way you want to use these sheets. You want to get more overview and more visibility of your data. And that's what we improved in Grandma 3 version 2.0. So first of all, what you can do is to move around the columns. Therefore, we just press and hold on a specific column in the title bar. And you can see a red line that indicates where we want to move this column to. So for example, to this place. So you can completely rearrange your personal workspace in this sheet. Another quick and easy method to do this is to do the two finger scroll or to use two mouse buttons and move your finger in the title rows of the columns when you can see on the left hand side a kind of menu button over there. Then you can enter the menu and enter the column editing where you can hide and show the different columns. So if you have some columns in the sheets you do not use or you do not want to see, you can do it like this. You just hide them, you leave the column editing and your sheet is reduced already. And additional to that, we will introduce sets with this Grandma 3 version 2.0. Sets are some kind of predefined organizations for your sequence sheet. So in this case, you can see the sets in the title bar. You can see at the moment we have three different sets with three different settings of columns we see or we hide. And of course, we can create our own sets as well. So we go to this drop down menu, we say new, and we have a menu where we can just define our own personalized set. So for example, we want to build ourselves a timing set where we just see our queue timings. So in this case, I would mark all of these different columns, put them to no, and I would just select the trick time, maybe the trick type, trick sound, we can use the duration, the cue fade and cue delay and the snap delay. So I want to see these columns in my timing set. We label this, we say this is our timing and we leave this editor and we can see our timing set already active with all the different timing columns we need. And now we can use these sets to easily toggle between the different sets here. 